Hey, what's up, y'all? It's 2020, bishes. You guys like that? I use the word bish. I hope that doesn't count as swearing. Uh, if you're wondering, my New Year's resolution is to not swear at all this year. Originally, it was just going to be to cut out all F-words. Or just to cut out the F-word. But my mom and my sister decided to raise the stakes. And they said, why don't you just cut out all swear words? And I said, sure. I'm not backing down from a challenge. So yeah, I can't swear at all this year. That's my New Year's resolution. And it's been going okay, you know? Sometimes it gets difficult, especially when you're playing games like Dark Souls. Fuck you, dude. You're a fucking loser. You stand there all fucking day. That's your job. All you do is you fucking stand there all fucking day, and you just patrol this area like a little bitch. That's all you do. That's your job. You just stand there like a little bitch, and you just patrol the area. That's all you do. You're a loser. I'd like to apologize for my language. I'm not supposed to be swearing this year. This is definitely going to be a tough resolution. As you guys know, 2019 was quite the year for me. But looking back on it, it was honestly one of the best years of my life. I didn't have to do anything that I didn't want to do in 2019. I didn't have to work. I didn't have to go to school. It was just a year off full of chasing my content dreams. I streamed on Twitch like every day and... I dropped the most amount of videos on YouTube I've ever dropped in a single year. I dropped more videos in 2019 than I did in 2017 and 2018 combined. That's insane. And on top of that, I finally graduated university. Something I never thought would have happened, happened. I went to my graduation ceremony. It was super surreal. Awesome. On top of that, I became a Twitch affiliate, something I never thought would happen so quickly. I think I became a Twitch affiliate after like two to three months of streaming. I did not think I was going to become a Twitch affiliate that quickly. On top of that, I went to New York. Dream come true. I wanted to go to New York my whole life. Or not my whole life, but you guys get what I mean. Like, I've always wanted to go to New York and... The fact that I went last year was just incredible. Another surreal uh, milestone or whatever you want to say. Accomplished in 2019. Best trip of my life. Just amazing. On top of that, this is kind of like, people are going to think this is lame, but I look at it as like super cool. I finally learned how to play video games using a mouse and keyboard. I know that's not really that big of an accomplishment, but to me, I look at it more of like, I learned a new skill. Um, and then on top of that, I finally got my full driver's license. <laughs> you know, I've been able to get my full driver's license for the longest time. I went in for a test uh, two years ago. I failed because I went over in the school zone. Didn't really happen, but it's their word against yours, so you can't really say anything. And then, so here's the thing. On December 17th, I passed the test and got my full driver's license. Super happy. The next day, I went to traffic court to dispute a speeding ticket where I went over in a school zone. <laughs> and the cop didn't show up, so the ticket was dismissed. All charges dismissed. It was awesome. It was like $200 and like three points on my license just dismissed. Like two very, very rare back-to-back -back Ws for Dulé all day. You know how rare that is? For me to pass my driver's test, show up to traffic court the next day, cop doesn't show up, ticket dismissed. I was like, oh my god. Dude, the tides are changing like this. This is awesome. So, just so many things happened in 2019 that made it such a good year. Like, I feel like, I know, I know this is kind of like a corny thing to say, but I feel like whatever was meant to be happened. And whatever wasn't meant to be uh, just like left my life. And what more can you ask for? Like, that's, th that's like one of the best things ever. Like, now you know, okay, this is supposed to be in my life. This is not supposed to be in my life. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what I'm not supposed to be doing. So to have all that cleared up in the last year of, 
you know, that decade and going to the new decade with like a fresh mindset and you're just like, okay, boom, it's awesome. The biggest thing I learned last year was to not force things. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. I don't force things anymore. I just let them happen. Like I wanted to go to New York for the longest time. There was a few instances where I tried to like set up a trip and I tried to like force it into happening and it just wouldn't happen. And then last year, you know, we had a wedding in Toronto and then my uh, dad came up to me and he's like, hey, your cousins are going to New York and they're wondering if you want to come. And I was like, heck yeah, I do. That's just kind of like where I learned, you know, the previous trips that I was trying to plan weren't meant to be. And this New York trip was like, you know what I mean? Like I tried to force things before it wouldn't work out. And then it ended up coming to me and it's like, Hey, I know you want to go to New York. We're going, that's the type of thing it was. And it's just like, that's when I realized like, Hey, I don't have to force things anymore. Yeah. 2020. It's going to be a dope year. I can feel it in the air. More dreams are going to come true. More awesome stuff is going to happen. This is Dulé's year. I do not like referring to myself in third person, but this is my year. And I never say that, but I'm saying it this year, okay? God, Moses, Jesus, Allah, everybody listening, yo, y'all gotta help me out here, man. We about to have a dope ass year. Oh, I swore. Okay, add that to the swear jar. But we're gonna have a dope year. It's gonna be awesome.